Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, July 3rd, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. In the news business, they like to say nothing's official until it's official. And ladies and gentlemen, now it's official in case you haven't heard. This week we had our first official update from Flex Lewis's camp on the status of this year's Olympia prep. According to his coach Neil Hill, Flex is already 12 pounds heavier than he's ever been at this point in his prep and that they believe that they're going to bring something extraordinary to the stage this year. For me, the key word in that statement is extraordinary because it'll take something extraordinary for him to have a legitimate shot at competing for the Olympia title. But considering how insane of a year 2020 has been already, I guess Flex moving up to win the Open Championship doesn't seem all that far-fetched, now does it? If you want to know how much of a difference a year can make in terms of progress, go back and scroll through the photos in your cloud from this time last year. It'll probably feel like it's barely recognizable. And if you think those pictures are crazy, wait until you see a load of Lucas Puello. At this time last year, the Rookie 212 Pro was barely on anyone's radar, despite a solid ninth place finish at the Arnold South America. Now flash forward to today, and what you see is a bigger, fuller, more dangerous version of an emerging second year pro that can barely even resemble what he was a year ago. As things continue to change and progress, and he keeps getting more comfortable with his training, my guess would be that the best Lucas Quelo in 2020 is still yet to come. In the physical therapy world, people like to say that movement is medicine. And considering how much attention immune health is getting in the news right now, I guess Alex Cabernero's immune system must be in pretty good shape because no one's been moving through classic physique faster than he has in these last two seasons. With everything that's been going on, and with guys like Chris Bumstead and Breon Ansley, and then the big break in the middle of the season, well, it's easy to forget that Alex Cabernero won the Arnold Classic back in March with the best look of his career. And as long as he keeps moving in that direction, I don't see why we wouldn't have a legitimate top three contender on our hands heading into December. If you haven't been following a lot of the national news lately, then you probably missed a story earlier in the week about the U.S.-Canadian border remaining closed because of a mandatory quarantine order. But if we can even find one of the people running these, well, governments who has some common sense, well, maybe we can start a petition for them making an exception for Cody Drobut. A few days ago, Cody's team released off-season photos of him looking like an absolute tank which might be a nice way of saying that it looks like he's packed on some good quality muscle. So if we can get this border closure lifted sooner than later, maybe Cody and his team will decide that it's time for them to export their product to a pro league destination somewhere south of the border. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.